Okay, now this is how you make your own tangram. What you need is a piece of A4 white paper and the scissors. First, you need to fold the piece of A4 white paper like so. And like so. You have a, a rectangle here and along this crease you cut. You then get rid of the extra rectangle. You are left with a square. And down the centre of this square you have a square, you have a crease. Along this crease you cut. And as you can see, you've created two large triangles. Put one triangle to the side. Take the other large triangle and fold it in half. Then you cut along the resulting crease. thus creating two smaller triangles. And you set both of these triangles to the side. Then you take the large triangle and find the midpoint of the longest side. To do this, you need to fold the triangle along that longest side in half. And create a crease. That crease is the midpoint. Now, you have to fold the triangle so that the vertex of the right angle side touches the midpoint of the opposite side, the long base side. Then you fold along that crease and cut along that crease. Creating a small triangle and the trapezoid. Set the small triangle apart. Take the trapezoid and fold it in half so that the resulting crease bisects the base. Like so. You then cut along this crease so that you have two smaller trapezoids. Take one smaller trapezoid and fold it so that the two vertices at the ends of the longest side meet. Like so. And then cut along that crease. Now you formed a small, a small square and a small triangle. Set these aside. Take the small trapezoid and fold it so that the vertex of the obtuse angle meets the opposite right angle. Like so. Then, cut along the crease. You have created a parallelogram and a small triangle. Now, count all the pieces. You should have seven shapes. One large triangle, two large triangles. A medium triangle, two small triangles, a square and a parallelogram. And that is how you make your tangram. Thank you.